and welcome to let's fly vfr today's video is all about seaplanes and we're going to go back and visit revisit uh, allen burrows island which is in uh, washington state and let's fly down there from space as you can see the world isn't flat people it actually is round we can actually go further out if you want to say so here we are prop strike studios great airport for a whole four dollars so let's have a look at the airport itself there's the main runway for uh, allen burrows island now there's actually two islands in this package and we're going to fly this beautiful float plane out and around and have a bit of a look at the local scenery we're going to take off with the float plane and see what that's like to do we're going to go and do a sea landing we're going to taxi around a bit and then we're going to take off again fly around and then we're going to take it into an airport but just for a bit of a change we're going to change the weather and we're going to make it night time when we come in and have a little bit of a look around that airport as well on the way in just makes it a little bit different doesn't it so let's get uh, this Cessna 172 SP out and uh, start flying it around, which is what we want to do, don't we? Now you'll find with the um, SP and the float plane version of it, the uh, the wheels do tuck away. There's a little uh, control we'll have a look at once we get inside. And uh, once you're, so it just gives you the flexibility. You can fly on land, take off and land off land. I'm not sure how good it would be on, on rough terrain, but uh, well, it seems to do a sufficient job, I think, out here. Um, you can look at the great scenery here at Allen Burrows Island. And Prop Strike Studios have done a really great job here. And for a whole $4.20 Australian, I think it was, um, certainly very worthwhile. Uh, if you're uh, you're in the pounds or in the euros, it's, it's only about two. So uh, highly recommend you have a look at it. You can go for a walk around. There's a whole lot of paths and all sorts of stuff. So let's taxi out, line up, and get ourselves ready to go. It is pretty easy to taxi around. Yeah, it's a damn sight easier than doing it uh, as a um, tailwheel aircraft, which you will have seen hopefully in one of my recent videos. And we've got some helicopter flights coming up. Uh, that should be a lot of fun and uh, oh, there's all sorts there's all sorts happening here at let's fly vfr so feel free to come out have a look um got a got a few uh, uh, videos in the bag waiting for release guys because um, i'm going to be heading back to australia in uh, very early february and i may not be on air for a couple of weeks so please be patient if you don't see any new videos come out um, I need to get a new PC because this one is absolutely dead. Um, actually, I'm recording this and I'm doing the sound on uh, my very old and also very tired laptop because I have no external sound on this damn PC anymore. And the uh, thing's only about two months old. So I give up. AM3, you're out the window. am 4s on its way. So let's have a look at this. So you can see on the passenger side there, that control, that's your um, undercarriage for the floats. So uh, we will look at uh, tucking that away once we get up in the air. And we'll get this uh, little girl on the go. Taxis pretty well. Now we have done a quick run up there. So just check, 1700. And then you just cycle between the mags. You've got a little bit of uh, dust and stuff happening there behind the aircraft, which was pretty good. And here we go down that um, little bit of dust. There's the particle system from 11.30 in action, which is really nice to see. Uh, we've had so much given to us with this uh, current update. I guess the next highlight is going to be uh, Vulcan and uh, what that might uh, give. Hopefully we're not disappointed on that one. So let's keep going. We'll uh, take a little left turn here. And out ahead of us in a moment, you'll uh, you'll see over towards just to the left of those hills is where the town is we're going to go to a little later. Uh, but over to our left at the moment, you can see the boat down there. And uh, there's a bit of a pontoon and bit. So we're going to come down and uh, try and land there in, and do it in one piece. And uh, from there... We will 
take off again and then have a bit more of a fly around just want to show you around the islands in case you haven't seen um, this one really it's it's fantastic when you have people like prop strike coming out and producing some uh, really great scenery they've got some they tell me they've got some more scenery in the works uh, this isn't a paid ad I actually bought the uh, the airport and you know for for two dollars twenty Australian it's it's hardly taxing on the pocket so let's fly down we've got the boat there on the left there the sailboat and as we go around the corner here uh, we have a lighthouse and we also have a uh, helicopter landing pad so uh, look forward to the flight where I did my very first and it was absolutely the very first time I flew a helicopter in X-Plane 11 or anywhere so we're going to come down and try and land there in the very near future so um, I'm not sure whether the video for that one comes out before or after this one should this one come together neatly I've um, been having a few little issues with the sound going to pieces at about the 10 minute mark don't know what's causing that so uh, we might do the sound in two pieces on this and uh, hopefully I won't waste another day producing video for you guys it's very frustrating but that's technology for you isn't it so as we come around the left you can see all the reflections on the water which is really it's pretty outstanding really it's great and let's head back to the uh, to the southern more southern island uh, I think this is Allen Island I'm, I'm having a guess the, the bit of water we're over at the moment is uh, that's called Allen Pass and then the back behind us on the northern side of that other island is Burrows Pass so you fly down here you see all the nice 3D trees and the rocks and all the stuff that goes with it it's uh, pretty nice so and as always remember if you uh, if you've bumped into the channel and you haven't been here before welcome and uh, if you'd like to subscribe really love to have you on board with I'm really looking forward to seeing that thousand subscribers come up on the channel which is outstanding considering this channel is only about 14 months old so a big thank you to everybody it's taken the time to hit that subscribe button thanks for coming on board hope you're enjoying all the videos we do we've got I think 128 videos for you to uh, check out currently on the channel so have a wander around look at some of the old ones so we're gonna fly around here and uh, see how we go landing on the water we're a little bit quick and we just start to uh, slow down a little bit and as you can see over to the left there is that little sound or that little bay and we're going to come around and land over there uh, i will try and taxi into there anyway so let's get it around and uh, we need make sure our gears are we've got first stage of flaps down we've got 10 degrees that might very well be enough I'm not sure how the uh, the aircraft's going to react once we actually get on the water. Um, being the first time I've, I've really done this. So we'll line ourselves up and uh, we'll see how everything reacts. So you can see we've got the no, the wheels are all tucked away. The, the no section there, they're, um, I think they cast her around. So they're up and uh, we'll just gently come down. We're just about on the water and uh, we'll see how how the aircraft sits once it touches down then we're doing well a little bounce a little bounce that's okay i can live with that and uh, we're going pretty quickly still it doesn't slow down quick does it so we'll let it slow down and uh, we will get around the corner in a moment so let's just get ready to taxi back back around again we'll see what the grand handling's like with the um, we'll see what the grand handling's like it, it's bouncing around a little bit certainly with the uh, with the water I think you have to be a bit careful if you had a bit of wave action happening here um, you might have to consider your angles and whether you landed um, across them or into them I think you land across them when you've got waves so I'm not 100% sure on that's something you'd, I'd want to read up on I think but I can't see myself jumping into a real world uh, float plane anytime in the near future but certainly something to research isn't it I want to be a complete pilot 
you don't want to be a complete idiot and make a big mess of it. So, so we're taxi around here. So you can see the scenery is pretty nice. We've got the boat there, or the sailboat. And uh, what we'll do, I think, is we'll go across. What you can do is put the gear down while you're in the water still, which is perfectly okay. And then we will taxi up onto the beach, which is what you would do. You'd probably pull up onto the beach, um, tie the aircraft down, and um, then, you know, get a bit of a camping site set up, stay there. It's not real sure where the water and the, and the land ends there, which come back on, but it looks pretty good. So let's just have a little bit of a look around looks pretty nice doesn't it and it's certainly uh, a different type of flying uh, landing you know you you sit a lot higher off the water as you as you come in so it's uh you sort of think oh, I'm, am i there yet and then oh you're there all in, in a hurry so we will keep the aircraft going and then uh we had a quick look around let's taxi out we'll have another bit of a fly around and because uh, the scenery is just worth looking i think this whole area is just beautiful and it would be really nice to do a flight maybe from uh, this particular airport up to mashmel if it's not too far but i need to check the distance it might be a bit further than i think because the united states is pretty large as as australia is and they're both about the same size roughly in land mass so can be a little bit deceptive so let's get out here we have a bounce around as we come off the off the land into the water but that settles down quickly and uh need to fold those wheels up and get ready to power up yet again and we'll get back into the air and very soon i thought it'd be really good just to uh, change it give you a bit of a, a different perspective and then we'll have a look at what the whole area looks like uh, in the evening as well and the lighting because that's one of the best things about um, x-plane 11 is, is certainly the lighting and the fact that there's generally stuff moving around you can see it with the cars and the lights and stuff which is um, one of the things that i found very entertaining so as we just get off we'll just get the nose up a little bit we're using 10 degrees of flap i've been doing that on the takeoffs because i think it might just be a little heavier and it's certainly going to be draggier isn't it there's going to be a, a little bit more drag with all that stuff hanging off the bottom of the airplane and uh, we'll just allow the airplane to speed up and we will get some altitude and have a little bit more of a fly around Now, you may not get this video in uh, i've been doing all the videos recently in in 4k using the nvidia dsr which i uh, carry on about quite often i guess but um, i really do like it but with the issues that i've been having this one might come out 1080p i'll give that a test drive i think and hopefully i won't have any more uh, sound issues because it just gets to 10 minutes and then there's a big block of white noise which is um, a little bit upsetting. So let's have a look at the area at night time now. So you're ready, put your night vision on as we get a little darker and we're going to fly around. You can just see the uh, the airport. The airport is uh, Anna Courts Airport and it's directly ahead of us there. We're still a little bit high. You can see the white lights. And one of the hard things here is, is seeing the taxiways when you get in. So we'll see how that works out as we fly in. Hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, the, the flying in X-Plane and, and maybe DCS. I've become a bit of a DCS fan as well. I'm going to be doing some more videos on that once I've got uh, the system all set up again. Maybe some live streams and uh, we'll see what happens there. I've got a few ideas. And I've got something a bit special coming up from uh, one of my subscribers, Jonathan. I've um, got a video of him. He is someone who's never flown an aeroplane for real and he took the challenge to actually fly a Cessna 152 uh, from start up all the way through without any real help so are we getting lined up here just about we've got that nice and smooth I think so we just get the nose up a little and uh, and then touch down nicely here so I'm looking forward to, to sharing that bit of video with you. It's uh, it's amazing, you know, considering he's never done any flying. 
Uh, he's been allowed to sit in the left seat of a 152 and uh, take it, taxi it out, oh, start it up, taxi it out, fly, I think he does three circuits, but I don't think we've got video for all three of the circuits, but a takeoff, a um, couple of circuits and a landing and uh, and back in. Pretty exciting that someone can do that without any formal training. Don't worry, he has a CFI sitting uh, with him and you'll see the CFI sitting in the plane when we put the video together for you. And uh, But no, it just shows you what you can learn on uh, a modern flight simulator like X-Plane 11 or um, P3D V4 or something like that. Um, you can learn a hell of a lot and they're becoming more and more realistic. I think particularly X-Plane 11 with its new additions of side forces and prop washes and uh, post-stall uh, effects that are now sort of integrated into the flight models. Um, it just makes it so much more realistic. So let's taxi down here. I'm just looking for a taxiway. I'm sure there's going to be one after one of these white lights. So I'm going to chance it and and take a bit of a turn around here. It, it is really easy to taxi this around. I'm really surprised it was uh, something I thought would be more difficult. So we'll get around here and we'll taxi back up towards the uh, the petrol pumps. We've got some bowsers up here so you can taxi in and fill up your aeroplane. You've got the green flashing lights there on the right. And you can see the sun's really just gone down. We've still got that sunset happening uh, in the distance. And um, this is pretty much a vanilla setup, guys. So, you know, I don't really put any additional bits and pieces in here other than some ortho and maybe some uh, some airports because I build a few of those for myself. You can see some people uh, on Facebook talking about having performance issues with systems that were far in excess of mine um, and wondering why. You know, I think just keep it simple. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So we'll taxi in and taxi around again. You can, it's really nice. You can see the lights reflecting off the buildings and uh, onto the tarmac there. And the flare that you get off the lights on the wings there is the beacon's flash. A bit of green light and stuff there on that building. This is a nice little airport, the uh, Anacorts Airport. And there are a whole, uh, there are a number of other ones in the area as well, I'm sure. Well, it's in Washington State, so the Washington, I'm sure, has a big international airport. Uh, that you could fly down to. We'll uh, try and get this one to stop. I had a bit of an issue getting this thing to stop on the way in. Um, I think it was a bit of a combination of I had my feet probably still pushing on the, the pedals on my CH Pro rudder pedals and uh, and I was trying to punch the B on the uh, keyboard as well. So we overrun it just a little bit. But overall, pretty happy and, and was a successful flight. So I hope you've been enjoyed that. Again, uh, feel free to visit uh, Let's Fly VFR as well, guys, if you haven't been over there yet. Let me know what you think of it. It is a work in progress, and uh, I'm quite conscious that I haven't done a little bit for a week or so, so I need to get back in there. But isn't this an amazing little effect? I didn't realise you could do this, but you can come in from outer space and zoom back into whatever you're flying. So isn't that a great little bit of vision i'm really impressed with that so until next time i hope the the sound works and you guys are all happy and flying regularly and i will catch you back here very soon at let's fly vfr for another video remember there's plenty to watch have a look through the channel see you soon bye bye